Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Smith and I'm the Assistant Curator of Community Programs at the EGO. And we're connecting today to explore Yvonne McCaig Hauser's Silver Mine Evening, painted in 1932, in a mindful moment. I'd like to start with our land acknowledgement. So today we meet in the virtual world, but I would like to acknowledge that the Art Gallery of Ontario operates on land that is the territory of the Anishinaabe, Mississauga Nation, and was also the territory of the Wendat and the Haudenosaunee. The Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant is an agreement between the Haudenosaunee Confederacy and the Anishinaabe Three Fires Confederacy to peaceably share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. I'm grateful that we can connect today so we can explore mindful looking together. The concept of mindfulness it originated from Buddhist practice and reflects a focus on awareness of emotions, physical sensations in the body, and consciousness. When you're being mindful, you're more self-aware and more able to reflect on your experiences in daily life. The objective for this video and engagement with mindful looking is to connect people more intentionally with the restorative power of art. The hope is that we will not only feel more relaxed and in the moment, but also be able to take that centered, peaceful feeling into the rest of our day. Let's start with mindful breathing and a body scan to get in touch with our physical self. Bringing our attention to the body is a common way to practice mindfulness and self-care. Instead of thinking, we simply notice and feel a physical sensation. So slowly start to pay attention to your breathing and your body. Lean into being quiet and listen to your environment. Feel your breath as you breathe into your lungs and as air leaves from your nose and mouth. Notice your body from your feet up. Notice any sensation you feel there. Notice your legs. Notice your bottom and hips. Notice your lower back, then mid and upper back. Feel your shoulders, any tension, roll and relax. Feel your neck, your face, forehead, cheekbones, your ears, even your tongue, the entire head and crown of the head. Remember to breathe. As you do this, remember to notice how your body feels and whether there are changes in any physical sensations. Be mindful of your body and your breathing as we start to look at this painting together. If thoughts or judgments come up in your mind, gently come back to your breath and your looking. It's very easy to neglect our body and paying attention to it is a way to practice self-care and helps prepare us to look mindfully at the painting we're exploring today. 
So I'm going to share my screen so we can see the painting. So take a moment to look at the painting. What do you notice? What draws your eye into the painting? What colors stand out to you? How has the artist communicated a sense of space or depth? What do you notice about the view we have of this scene? How might your impression of the landscape change if you were standing in the foreground? What senses would be activated if you were in the painting? What do you feel, touch, hear, and taste? What evidence of, the, of human activity do you see in this landscape? How would you describe the relationship between humans and the natural world in this scene? How does your community relate to the natural environment? So now I'm gonna share a little bit about the artwork and the artist. Yvonne McCaig Hauser is best known for her alluring paintings of Northern Ontario villages and mining towns. In the 1930s, when she captured the town of Cobalt in her paintings, mining operations there had already come to an almost complete halt. As early as 1903, silver had been found in this area, some 300 miles north of Tacaranto, and within a very short time, numerous mines were established to extract the resource. The town of Cobalt formed in their vicinity. Since the metal deposits were close to the surface, even inexperienced miners could try their luck here, and within a few years the area developed into the world's largest silver and cobalt mining region. However, the worldwide economic crisis of 1929 caused the industry to falter, and Cobalt became a ghost town. Today you can still visit the old abandoned mines there. It's important to be mindful that this is a nationalist settler colonial perspective of the land and that this landscape displays a romanticized vision of industry, the extraction of resources, the economic development, and the destruction of the natural landscape. However, unlike many of her contemporaries, Yvonne McCaig Hauser wasn't interested in painting idealized nature and instead focused on the impact of industry on the landscape. Hauser shared her perspective of portraying cobalt and other mining towns. For me, unlikely as it may seem, 
there is something romantic about a mining shaft against a northern sky with silver and black clouds racing by and about the big mountain-like slag heaps beside the buildings and all reflected in a large pond or little lake. When dusk begins and the night shift carries lanterns whose tiny lights pinpoint the night, everything is mysterious and asks to be painted. As the days become shorter and dusk sets in sooner, take a moment to see how the light changes and impacts the environment around you. There is more than one way to practice mindfulness, but the goal of any mindfulness technique is to experience focused relaxation by deliberately paying attention to thoughts and sensations without judgment. This allows us to focus on the present moment. And I hope that we were able to do that today. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I really hope that you have a good rest of your day. Take care.